guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style, and today I thought I would do a quick KonMari of my makeup vanity. So I've basically been going back through and revisiting all the categories, and I feel like there's still some things that I can purge, especially with makeup because a lot of it expires every 6 months, 12 months, and things like that. I think it's something you have to continually revisit. So I'm going to be going through all of my drawers and basically testing out, trying out, touching everything, and the things that are either past their expiration date, I don't even need to test. I can just toss and then I'm going to be going through and getting rid of what is no longer bringing me joy what I'm not using and what doesn't need to be in my makeup vanity so this is really a general clear out although I'm like including it in my KonMari series this is something that you really would kind of need to do regardless of whether you're doing KonMari or not so this is a before of the drawer I find that you know it doesn't really work to go through and show me going through every single item because that would be like a really long video but I'm going to start going through things and seeing what can go, what I'm done using, and also wipe down the counter and everything after I have gone through it all. So I'm going to go through and start weeding out some things that I know need to go based on age. Like this Max Spray is a little bit too old and everything that I throw into this trash can, I'm just going to be throwing it in there to keep track of it. And then anything that can be recycled, I'll go back through and take it out and recycle it and then anything that can do back to Mac and things like that. I'll go back through, but I just want to kind of put everything into one spot. So just for visual sake, that's where I'm going to throw everything that is going. Back here I have my Maleficent palette. I still really like this. I got this at uh, Halloween time to do some Disney bounding. And this is the Tarte powder and perfume that I use every single day. This is a mini Zoom Zoom that I still really like, but it can probably get put away because it is a holiday one. So we'll just toss it over there to get put away. Then here are my lipsticks. So I'm going to go through and see. I did weed these out a, a bunch. Like a lot of these NARS ones are my regular use ones. I still use these are the only lip pencils I have. So I'm going to go through all these colors at the top and see what can go. So I was at least able to find one that can go out of the top. But this next drawer is where a lot of it's going to be going. So I'm going to go through here and the things that I know that I'm not going to use, like I either just didn't like the color or there are some things in here that I know are starting to get to the end of their uh, usable life cycle like this one it just needs to go I'm going to clear all those out and that is honestly a lot of what's in here um, can go because I'm pretty set like see that's old you can tell um, so that can go back to Mac I'm pretty set on the colors and things that I like to wear so I'm going to go through these and clear out what I can clear out so I've put all the lipsticks and more like the lip pencils here in this drawer so those are all going to be here in the top and then I will put actually well yeah I usually put lip gloss on, or lipstick on and then lip gloss so we'll do the lipsticks in the top and then the remaining lip glosses can stay down here in the bottom see look how many of those are actually like lip crayons that could be up there in the top that can go back to Mac. So these are all the glosses and pencils that I am parting with. And then I do have a couple of Mac things, which I'll start tossing down here to the side to take to Mac. The next two drawers are a little bit easier slash harder because everything in this drawer I use, these are all my eye pencils that I use regularly. I most use mascara and all of my palettes that I use the most. So everything in that drawer stays. Then I have to go through what's down here. Uh, because some of this is going to stay like these are definites and some of it may be able to go. So these are going to go based on age because this is definitely over a year old at this point. This is as well and this is slash I didn't really prefer the steam power on those and I know that this one as well so I'll throw that in the back to MAC. So all of these palettes are going to be going as well and then I can throw that in the MAC pile. I'm going to move a lot of these heavier palettes down to the very bottom drawer which leaves this drawer totally open to put what is left over. So I can put my Cinderella eyeshadows and my most used powder here. I've got my eyeshadows that I like to use every day so I will definitely keep those up towards the front. I have a number of mascaras and things like that so put those in there and then just some random eyeshadows and things like that that I like using occasionally so I'll stick those back to the back. This lip gloss can go in there and I'll replace this. This is getting ready to run out but I'm going to order another one from Sephora. And I've actually freed up a bunch of rooms, so some of these things can go over there as well. I 
don't mind having my most used items sitting out like on these little dishes. In fact, like some of the things I will leave sitting out, like I like having my lotion accessible and I like just the macaroons for a little decoration. So that doesn't really bother me. But it just, this just gives me an opportunity to get more of it in the drawers. And then this needs to sit out to air out. So we'll leave that in its dish. And this is pretty much dried out so that can go. And I really like this stuff. I need to order some more, but I think that's beyond its date. Oh, I love this stuff. So we're going to keep that towards the front right there. And I have two of my most used lipsticks. Let's see if we can fit these towards the front up here in this drawer. And I like to have the labels all the same way. So brushes, I don't buy a ton of, and this is a fairly newer purchase, so I know this and these here in this middle one are my most used. That's kind of like my backup face brush, but it's fairly new, and I still like the texture of both of those. This I use occasionally for highlighting, and this I like using when I use my Guerlain um, powder. Some of these, I don't really know that I really use them that much anymore. Like this is an older Makeup Geek brush. I don't even know if she still makes videos to be honest. Um, and then this one, I like. This one's unique. This one's a Sigma brush, the Flat Kabuki, the F80. I'll keep that. And then um, this one is one by Bare Minerals. I'm not going to keep that one either. So I can toss both of those. And then I like I honestly like, you know, this all makes sense to me as far as where I have my foundations and all this stuff I still use. I have my Claudely that I'm using right now. It's getting ready to run out, so I'd already purchased another one. It's sitting back there waiting. Um, so this all makes sense to me, even though it may not be like the most beautiful. I, it all makes sense to me. I still use all these nail files. And this I need, we'll see if I can get one of, I mean these all have uses, so they're all useful. Um, it's a matter of, you know, you don't always need them, but if you're doing like specialty makeup, they're useful. Oh look, there's another eyeliner. <laughs> see that's why it's handy to do this, because you come up with things you didn't even know were there. It's one of the black eyeliners. I'm going to put all my mascara up here in this drawer so that way all my eyeliners can go down there. And all this is really specialty stuff. So over here I keep extra highlighters and blushes and things like that. So those are all like specialty use things. These are all things that I use pretty much daily. Um, these are all like the highlighters, concealers, my eyebrow pencils and things like that. And some of the things don't get used every day like the green one back there. But it's for just, you know, when you have an occasion you need to use it. Then I think stuff like this, like this is older, I can probably get rid of that because I always use the same one. And then there is another eyeliner hiding in here. So this can go over here with the eyeliners. And I'll check and see the dates on this stuff. And then, then the rest of this will just be occasional use. That can probably go because that's older. I'm pretty sure these are older too. Then the makeup down here is the makeup that I rotate in and out of my purse or use for traveling. So I've got some travel bags and things like that in here. I've got some things that were sent to me promotionally that I, as long as I, you know, use them up within a reasonable amount of time, if they're not open, they'll last for longer. These have been open, so those are older. I can probably go ahead and toss those. And so I'm just going to go through here and really try to gauge the time length of things and how likely it is that it will be used to make sure there's nothing like hiding down in here. Um, this color was not my preference. I think I can go ahead and get rid of this one. But all of these pinks, I love those and I use those down inside my purse. So these powders, I interchangeably take them in and out of my purse. Same with the baby lips. I like traveling with that sometimes. These things can go. Those are not my preference. This one is older, so I can put that in the back to Mac pile. I think all this is older, so all that can go. And then over here, again, these are all travel things. What is this doing down here? So you find all kinds of things, and I've literally already gone through this stuff. 
but that was before we moved. So this is also like going through everything after we moved. This is actually one of my favorites. So that's what I also do is I sometimes randomly stick like my favorite things down here. So <laughs> I have to get them put back together. Um, these, I keep like my extra buxom glosses, my extra hourglass glosses. Those all stay. These are kind of like my, when I want to switch things up area down here. And I think there's a couple things that can go in this area that weren't the best colors for me. So I was able to move the majority of those over here to the lip gloss drawer. So all of the lip stuff is in that area except for two specialty things for Disney bounding and traveling. And I've cleared out a little bit of space down in the drawer as well. But all my most used items are up here in these drawers. So I've got everything a lot more accessible and a bit more cleared out. So that's how I'm going to leave it for today. And it definitely is bringing me more joy. I'm going to wipe out everything with a pledge wipe. And that'll be it for today. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.